Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Uh, let's solve this particular problem. Uh, here we have two problems. First we will solve this first problem and then we will solve this problem, right? So we will use the result of this problem in, in this particular problem. So the first problem says that the three supporting cables exert the force shown on the sign represent each force as a Cartesian vector. So here we have three forces FB, FC and FE and the magnitude of these three forces is given right so let's say if you want to find fc cartesian vector of fc so cartesian vector of fc is equal to uh, its magnitude so its magnitude is 400 times the unit vector from a to c the force is acting from a to c so the unit vector is from a to c and similarly we can write the unit vector from a to c is the position vector from a to c divided by its magnitude from A to C, right? So, we need to find the position vector from A to C. So, I will write 400. So, we need to reach that point C from A, right? So, to reach that point C from A, first we need to travel this much distance, that is 3 plus 2 meters distance, that is 5 meters distance in the negative x direction. So, I will write minus 5 in the i direction then i need to move this distance in the negative y direction and this distance is two meters so we need to move minus two two meters in the negative j direction and then i need to move this distance in the positive z direction that is in the positive k so i will write plus 3k and similarly we can find its magnitude so magnitude will be 5 square plus 2 square plus 3 square and then we will take the square root. So 5 square plus 2 square plus 3 square. So this is 6.164 and if I divide this 400 by this magnitude, so 400 divided by answer, so we will get 64.888 or we can say that 64.89. So, 64.89. So, Fc Cartesian vector is equal to, so we need to multiply this with each and every, with each and every component. So, 64.89 multiplied by minus 5. So, this gives you minus 324.45 minus 324.45 i and then multiply by minus 2 minus 129.78 j and then multiply by 3 so this is 194.67 plus 194.67 k so this is the cartesian vector representation of fc now fb Cartesian vector will be equal to its magnitude and FB magnitude is 400 and again the unit vector from B to A or we can write that the unit vector from B to A will be the position vector from B to A divided by its magnitude from B to A. So 400 from B to uh, uh, again this is from A to B sorry this is from A to B the forces are acting from A to B. So, this is from A to B. So, now we need to reach that point B from A. So, again we need to travel that uh, 5 meters distance in the negative i direction. So, I will write minus 5i. Then I need to travel 2 meters distance in the positive j direction. So, I will write plus 2j. And then I need to move uh, 3 meters in the positive k direction. So, I will write plus 3 k right and divided by its magnitude so we will have that same magnitude since the magnitudes of the components remain the same we have this minus 5 2 and 3 so we will have that same magnitude so let me find it this is 5 square plus 2 square plus 3 square so this is again that 6.16 and now if i divide this 400 by this answer 
400 divided by this answer so we will get that same 64.89 right so 64.89 and now if I multiply this so F B Cartesian vector so 64.89 into minus 5 is again minus uh, 324.45 I and multiply by 2 is 129.78 J and multiply by 3 is again that uh, 194.67 K Similarly, we can find that uh, F, F E force, this is F E, so F E force Cartesian vector will be equal to its magnitude which is 350 uh, into unit vector from D to E, so unit vector from D to E and similarly the unit vector from D to E is R position vector from D to E divided by its magnitude and similarly this is 3. 50 and now we need to reach that point E from D so from D we need to travel uh, 2 meters in the negative I direction so I will write 2 in the negative I then I need to move uh, 3 meters in the positive K and since we have reached that point E so this means that there is no need to move in the J direction so this is plus 0 J and we can find its magnitude as well so the magnitude will be 2 square 2 square plus 0 square plus 3 square under the square root so this is 2 square plus 3 square and now if I divide this 350 by this magnitude so 350 divided by that magnitude is 97.07 so 97.07 Zero seven. So F E Cartesian vector equals to. So we need to multiply it. So ninety seven point zero seven multiply by two. One hundred ninety four point one nine minus one hundred ninety four point one nine plus zero J. And multiply by three. So, this is uh, 291.21 K. So, these are the Cartesian vector representation of FC, FB and FE. So, this is the solution of this first problem that is 296. This problem. Now, in the second problem, we are asked to determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of the resultant force of the two forces acting on the sign at point A. So, we need to find the resultant of FC and FB. So, the resultant, let me write that resultant of FC and FB. So, we need to add FC and FB. So, we need to add the corresponding components of FC with FB. So, this is FC and this is FB. So, we can write that minus 324.45 uh, plus minus this right so minus 324.45 plus into minus 324.45 i similarly uh, plus minus 129.78 we need to add the j component with j so minus 128.78 plus 129.78 this is the j component and again plus 194.67 plus 194.6 k over in the k direction right so the resultant vector equals to so this is minus 324.45 and plus into minus 324.45 so this gives me minus 648.9 minus 648.9 i and this this cancels out right so plus 0 j and then 
पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन प्लस हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी फोर पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन सो दिस इज थ्री हंड्रेड एंड एटी नाइन पॉइंट थ्री फोर थ्री हंड्रेड एंड एटी नाइन पॉइंट थ्री फोर के Similarly, in the problem statement, you are asked to find the coordinate direction angle. So, if I represent this uh, resultant in coordinate direction angle form, so we can write that this will be r cos of uh, alpha i. R is the magnitude of the resultant plus r cos of beta j plus r cos of gamma k. And alpha, beta, and gamma are the angles of the resultant with the positive x, y, and z axes, and r is the magnitude of the resultant. So first, we need to find the resultant magnitude. So again, we can find the resultant magnitude by taking square of each component and then taking the square root. So 648.9 square plus zero square plus 389.34 square. So this is seven hundred and fifty-six point seven four, seven hundred and fifty-six point seven four newtons. So now we know this R. So if I compare both of these, so we can say that R cos of alpha equals to minus six hundred and forty-eight point nine, and cos of alpha will be equal to this divided by the R magnitude. And similarly, we can find alpha by taking cos inverse. So from this, we can write that alpha will be equal to cos inverse. Similarly, beta will be equal to if we compare both of these. So beta will be equal to cos inverse zero by r. Right? This is zero, and this is r. Similarly, again, I can write gamma, and which is equal to cos inverse by this three hundred and eighty nine point three four divided by r magnitude. So we can find alpha. So cos inverse minus six hundred and forty-eight point nine divided by r magnitude, which is seven hundred and fifty-six point seven four. Seven hundred and fifty-six point seven four. So alpha is one hundred and forty-nine, approximately. Similarly. Uh, Zero divided by magnitude, so that is zero. So cos inverse zero is ninety. So this is ninety degrees, and similarly gamma is three hundred and eighty-nine point three four. So fifty-nine degrees. So gamma is fifty-nine degrees. So the magnitude of the resultant is 756.74, and the resultant is making 149 degrees with the positive x-axis, uh, 90 degrees with the positive y-axis, and 59 degrees with the positive z-axis. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood uh, this problem solution. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Also like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems.